In this lesson, we will learn about the lock-on script to map network drives at IT Life Skills. First, we will learn about the requirements to map network drives. Then, we will map the network drives manually and with the script. After that, we will create the map drive dot bat lock-on script and then we add the lock-on script to user profile and verify. Finally, we sum up our lesson with the keynotes. Here are the requirements to map a network drive. First, we need to know the file server name, for example, cpvfs01. And then we need to know the share folder name on that file server, for example, public and the client computer that map to the network drive must have the connectivity to the file server. And the user account that mapped the network drive must have at least allow read permission on the share and NTFS on the share folder. Then we can construct the path to the network drive backward slash, backward slash file server name, backward slash share folder name. For example, cpvfs01 public. Let's verify the connectivity from this client computer to the file server. First, we need to verify the client computer name by typing the command hostname and hit enter. Now we ping the file server name from this client computer, ping cpvfs01. And you can see we have the connectivity from the client to the file server. Let's map all the network drives on this client computer manually. To do that, we need to open File Explorer and in the address bar, we type in the path to the file server, cpvfs01. Let's map the department's share folder. To do that, we need to right click on the share and click on map network drive. And in the drive letter, we select O drive and make sure we check the box, reconnect at sign in and click finish. Let's repeat the same steps to map the project's shared drive. Now we need to type the path to the file server and right click on the project share and click map network drive and select is as the R drive and click finish. And finally, let's connect to the public drive. So we need to right click on the public share and click map network drive and select the drive as B drive and click finish. That's it. Let's open the PC and you can see we now have the network shared drives departments, public and projects. On this client computer, we disconnected all the network drives. Let's connect to the public drive using the net use command. To do that, we need to open command prompt. And here we type in net use and put in the question mark. As you can see, to connect to a network drive using net use command, we need to type in the device name, which is a driver letter, and then the path to the file share and then the share name. And if we want to reconnect SIN, we need to type persistent equal to yes. So let's type the net use command, net use, and then the drive for the public drive is P and the path to the file server cpvfs01 and the share name is public and then we want to reconnect and sign in. So we put in forward slash persistent and then column yes and hit enter. And you can see 
it mapped the public drive successfully on this client computer. Before we create the map drive dot bat, we need to remove the high extension for known file type. To do that, we need to click on view and click on options. And here we click on view tab and uncheck high extension for known file type and click OK. That's it. Let's now create the map drive dot bat file. As you can see, we disconnected all the network drives on this client computer. Let's create a new file. So right click and click new and click text document. And here we type map drive and we change the extension to dot bat. And here we select yes. And we just edit the file. And here we paste the net use command. So we need to copy it and we paste it into the map drive dot bat and we can repeat it for other drives. So the next drive is the old drive for departments. So here we change it to the departments share. And the next one should be the projects. And we change the drive name to all. And we save the file and close this. And we just run the bat command. And as you can see, it mapped all the network drives for us. To make the map drive becomes the log on script for users in a department. We need to copy it to the domain controller. In this case, it is CPVDC11. Then we rename the map drive to the department short name. For example, ACCT Fint for Accounting and Finance. Then we copy the file to the location C Windows Sysvo Sysvo domain name hq.itlifeskills.local scripts folder. That's it. Now to make the user A to run the log on script every time he logs into his computer, we need to open his profile by double clicking on the username and click on the profile tab. And here we type in the log on script acctfin.bat then click OK. That's it. Here we are at the client computer and as you can see we disconnected all the network drives including the user home folder. Let's sign out. Now we sign back in as user A and type in the password of user A and hit enter. Let's open the file explorer. As you can see, the log on script maps all the network drives for us. Please note that the user home folder is mapped by the home folder configuration, not by the log on script. This is the end of this lesson. Let's read the keynotes.